everybody, welcome to my channel today. This is Mark the Tech Guy. Today bringing you another product review. And this product review is, is of the Ad Hoc Voltage Stabilizer, which I had in my vehicle for just over a month now. Now you may have seen this video that I did the unboxing of this product. And if not, you can go check it out. I will post the link down below where you can go check out the unboxing. Now this is the Ad Hoc Voltage Stabilizer. And it's just a tiny little unit. It's about, you know, a little bit bigger than a pack of cigarettes. And, uh, you know, it's got the screws. You can take the screws apart and you can see everything that is on the board. Now, this is a very cool little unit. And it's supposed to help you in saving on costly repairs. So, you know, you got wiring in the vehicle. Well, this is going to help regulate all the power that is going throughout your vehicle. Now, the uh, you're going to have some fuel savings in this as well, and I noticed the fuel savings, and I've had this plugged in now for just over a month, and uh, I did notice about a four, maybe five percent fuel savings on this device. So it's going to vary from vehicle to vehicle, of course. So right now I am in my vehicle. This is a 2008 Equinox, uh, fully loaded, uh, it's got the 3.4 engine in it, all-wheel drive, and uh, this has helped me save a little bit of fuel. Now, you know the price of fuel these days, here in Toronto, it's at $1.30 a liter. So you put that in gallons, that's about $5.20 a gallon. So this is a cool unit where you are going to save um, on your repairs and your fuel. So I would do my research on this if you want to look for um, a unit that is going to help you save some money. Um, go to the website. I will post the website down below. And I would like to thank Andrew Chan for sending this out for a product review because it does work. Now, at first I was skeptical, thinking... How can this little box save me any money? Or, how can a unit like this, with a plug like this, going into the cigarette lighter, how would the power run back? Because, you know, I thought the power would only run to the, to the unit and not back. I always thought it was a one way, but it's not. You know, there is um, such thing out there right now as uh, booster cables that you can plug into your cigarette lighter and you can charge your battery or charge another car's battery through your cigarette lighter. So the power does go back through your vehicle from the cigarette lighter. Now this sends, um, you know, all the current back up and it puts everything to where it's supposed to be. Now you're supposed to notice... Um, better shifting, and I do notice it. I notice the shifting in this Equinox was a little bit hard. It's a little bit harder when I first got the vehicle, and I'm like, eh, it's shifting pretty hard. Um, I plugged this in, and yes, it does. It smooths out the shift, and uh, it, the, the vehicle does shift a lot better, a lot smoother. So, you know, it's got the fuel savings, better shifting, and it gives you overall it saves you on doing maintenance on your wiring system now this is supposed to protect everything in your vehicle um, you know the wiring and you know there's a lot of pricey repairs out there from you know different surges that you get in your vehicle well this is supposed to prevent that it also has a fuse inside the cigarette lighter adapter so you can replace that if you do blow the fuse but it is cool, you plug it in, there's a little red light on the plug, and this will light up too and tell you the voltage. Now, I can't really plug it in right now because my plug for the cigarette lighter is on the floor, and it will not reach. Well, it might reach, let's see. So, here we go, I have it plugged in. Now, you can see it there in the bottom corner, that's as high as I can go with it. And right now, it is reading 13.9 volts. And I also have in the vehicle a voltage meter. 
and it also reads 13.9 volts as well. So it's very accurate and it will read the voltage that is going on in your vehicle. And the second that it changes on the dashboard, it changes on the unit as well. So it is a very cool unit and it will save you um, in your repair bill. So I would check it out, go to his website, I'll post a link to his website and his YouTube channel, and I would like to thank Andrew Chan for sending this out for a product review, because this is a great product and it does work. Now there is other ones out there that are designed similar to this one, but this one here has a lot more um, stuff on the board. Now when I've done my research, it shows that this one is built better. Uh, it comes in an aluminum housing, um, it's all metal, there's no plastic except for the little cover it's got on the front, but it, the whole thing is just made of, of metal. And it's got a two foot cord, nice thick cord, and you know you can put this under the front seat of your car, um, in your glove box, wherever you want. Just plug it in and that's it. You can even leave it plugged in. You don't have to unplug it at the end of the day when you're done with your vehicle. You can go ahead and leave it plugged in. It only draws like I don't even. I, it draws like one amp, I think it is. But it is a very, very cool unit, and it does work. So check out his website. Check out his YouTube channel, and you can see other results that they have gotten with this device. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been a video review of the ad hoc voltage stabilizer. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody.